YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with another product review. Today we're going to be taking a look at these R-Tom LV mesh heads. Now these things are some pretty cool looking uh, mesh heads that are low volume. They're not silent heads, they're low volume and uh, they seem really nice. I haven't tried them yet. I'm going to put them on, I'm going to put a full set here on my drum set that I have behind me and we're going to hear how they are, you know, what kind of volume they actually uh, make. And uh, I think, you know, just from looking at them and feeling the texture of these things, they feel really, really well made, like really heavy duty. Uh, they're kind of thicker than just about any other mesh head that I've ever felt. So I think they're going to be nice. I haven't tried them yet, but we'll see. They also have this reinforcement dot in the middle, which seems pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how they are. I'm going to throw them on the drums, like I said. And uh, if you want to pick these up for yourself, there's a link down below. You'll get 15% off. Our Tom was kind enough to give you guys 15% off just by watching this video. There's no commission in it for me. It's just a discount for you guys out there. So click that link down below and definitely pick up some heads from our Tom. Uh, so let's go ahead. Well, watch the video first and see if you like them. Uh, but let's go ahead and check them out. I'm going to put them on the drums and uh, we'll see how they go. So here we go. So one thing I noticed about these uh, right off the bat is they actually do have a tone, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can hear individual notes uh, for each drum, uh, which, you know, if you want uh, a low volume head that actually produces some kind of sound, uh, these are pretty good for that. And they're not like loud. Uh, they're definitely a little bit louder than say a Remo silent stroke, but I don't think they would be disruptive uh, to a neighbor or anything like that. I find most of those problems arise from bass drum through the floor uh, type issues anyways. Uh, one thing I did notice though that I would like to see a little bit different is the dots on the heads themselves. They're all the same size on every single size head. Like you can't see it on my bass drum but I have a 16 inch uh, bass drum and the dot is the same exact size as it is on the 10 inch. So the dot really doesn't do a whole lot especially considering I have a double bass drum pedal on here. So basically one of the bass drum beaters touches basically part of the dot and the other one just doesn't even touch it at all. So I would like to see that dot be like, you know, in proportion to the size of the drum heads, which is kind of how they do it on like Remo black dots. They just get larger as the heads get larger. Um, so I think that would be a little bit better. Also, I'm not crazy about the logo, like so much writing on the heads. Uh, I think it's a little bit much. They could just have R Tom. And uh, that drives me crazy about a lot of drum companies, like giant symbol logos drive me crazy. Uh, giant logos on drum heads drive me crazy. Um, enough with the logos, guys. Just, you know, put your name on there and uh, that's good enough. You don't have to make it huge. I know, like, uh, I can kind of see their, their uh, perspective of wanting to, you know, a lot of people make videos, so they want it to show up in the videos so people can see what they're using. But in this case, I think the R Tom logo looks cool. But having LV mesh head, especially being that gigantic on the bottom of it, uh, can you even see that in the video? Yeah, uh, right here. It just seems like a bit much. Uh, but, you know, it's not a deal breaker for me or anything. Uh, they still, you know, they seem very durable. I, you know, I just put them on here. But comparing the thickness of the heads compared to like the silent stroke or even a dual ply, uh, you know, like prism mesh head or something like that, they're still thicker than that. Um, they just, you know, they don't, they're not floppy at all. They're very thick. Like, right, I think they're a single ply too, but they're still really thick. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now is actually hook up my drums, because I actually have triggers on all these drums, and we'll see how they work with the electronics turned on. So let's do that now.
right, so I think they triggered, you know, as expected, uh, pretty much like every other mesh head on the market, but that's a good thing uh, because they work just fine. So anyway, uh, overall, I really like the LV uh, mesh heads by R Tom. I think they're a good buy. Uh, they're cheaper than some of the other brands out there, but they're really, really well made. So definitely check them out. There's a link down below where you can get 15% off uh, using that link. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out my music on uh, Apple Music and Spotify. There's links down below as well. Also click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.